Ahoj. My name is Clara and I just love naval history. Today we're going to talk about yet another Spanish warship which deserves more recognition for her actions at Trafalgar. And this ship is San Juan Nepomuceno. San Juan Nepomuceno was launched in October 1766 as a 74-guns ship of the line. I was not capable to find much about her early career and what I found was not very interesting. So we'll start the account of her career in 1793 when she took part in the British occupation of Toulon. Yes, Spain was an ally of Britain at that time and thus Spanish fleet aided the British Mediterranean fleet on this occasion. Sadly, I wasn't able to find what exactly was San Juan Nepomuceno doing there except evacuating some French refugees when the fleet was retreating. The lack of to me accessible information is also a problem when it comes to her involvement in the Battle of Cape St. Vincent on 14th February 1797. So I will close this chapter by saying that she took part in that battle. In 1804 Spain entered war on the French side and Spanish fleet, including San Juan Nepomuceno, became part of Napoleon's plans for invasion to Britain. I've spoke about the Trafalgar campaign and Napoleon's plans for invasion in details in my video on Le Bucento. So if you want to know more about it, check that video out. Now let's just do a quick recap of how the Trafalgar campaign looked like for a Spanish fleet. French Toulon's fleet picked them up in the Spanish ports of Cartagena and Cadiz, and together they sailed to West Indies and then back. They fought a battle with a squadron of Royal Navy near Cape Finisterre and then took refuge back in Cadiz. It's necessary to say that the British Mediterranean fleet under the command of Vice Admiral Horatio Nelson pursued them the entire time. So now let's look at the last battle in which San Juan Nepomuceno took part the Battle of Trafalgar. Here, she became one of the symbols of Spanish bravery during Napoleonic Wars. And thanks to that, we have a lot of information about her actions in the battle. So let's dive into it. First thing first, we need to say a bit about the captain of San Juan Nepomuceno, Captain Don Cosme Damian Tsaruka. Tsaruka sailed into the Battle of Trafalgar with the decision to never surrender. To one of his friends, Tsaruka wrote, If you find out that my ship has been captured, say that I'm dead. From the beginning, Tsaruka was very skeptical towards the French Navy and Admiral Villeneuve's abilities as a commander-in-chief of the combined fleet. He perceived the battle as lost even before the battle took place. But still, he fought with the utmost vigor till the end. So, in the battle itself, Tsaruka's San Juan Nepomuceno was probably the last ship in the Franco-Spanish line, and thus none of the British ships engaged her for a long time. But then, a few tried. HMS Defiance, HMS Tonant, HMS Bellerophon, and HMS Dreadnought. In the end, San Juan Nepomuceno lowered her flag to HMS Tonant, but she was incapable to seize her and wreck of San Juan Nepomuceno slowly drifted away. Next ship trying to seize her was HMS Defiance, but she was also unsuccessful. San Juan Nepomuceno finally surrendered to HMS Dreadnought. And what was happening on her deck during the brutal fight between her and the British ships? Well, San Juan Nepomuceno fought ferociously, but in the middle of the battle, Captain Tsaruka was hit by a cannonball and his leg was stared off. Still, he hadn't shown the pain and insisted that he is okay. In the end, he was forced to go see the surgeon, but before that, he gave the command of the ship to the officer on the deck, since he learned that his second was also killed. He also ordered the Spanish flag to be nailed to the mast. Captain Don Cosme Damian Tsaruka died few moments later in the cockpit of San Juan Nepomuceno. 
Captain Taruka is hailed as a hero until this very day. After the death of their captain, the crew's morale fell and when the ship turned into a floating wreck, they surrendered. Still, San Juan Nepomuceno was one of the last ships to surrender in the Battle of Trafalgar. A wreck of San Juan Nepomuceno was one of the few which survived the storm which followed the battle. But then her history becomes foggy again. She was renamed HMS San Juan and allegedly briefly named HMS Berwick. But here the sources differ. They even differ in the year of her decommission. So let's just state that she was broken up somewhere between 1814 and 1818. Two sources are saying that it was in 1816, so it seems like a most probable option. So, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed listening to the story of this fascinating ship named San Juan Nepomuceno, even when I do not have much information about her. Well, if you like my content, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Maybe then I would have an access to more materials. I would also like to hear your opinions on these ships and don't hesitate to give an ideas for next videos in the comment section below. So thank you and I'll see you next time with a biography of another ship.